We've all seen great car stunts in movies, but what about car stunts in real life? I'm not talking about your crazy uncle who never follows the rules of the road. I mean fearless, talented people who go all out to pull off some of the most daring, crazy, amazing, or just plain jaw-dropping stunts you'll ever see, sometimes even risking their lives and setting records in the process. Today I've gathered together the very best of these incredible stunts to get your heart racing as fast as these cars, and your adrenaline pumping as though you're behind behind the wheel. Come on. Just like with everything in life, some people are real pros, and today I'm going to show you some real expert drivers. Let's get it on! Fastest Side Wheelie You've probably seen someone do a wheelie with a motorbike, and I bet you've never seen one done with a car. Finnish stuntman Vesaki Vimaki has though, and he did it to epic proportions. He teamed up with Nokian Tyrese who designed a new tire, which unlike other tires can withstand the drive on their sides needed to break this world record. And it was probably needed, since the previous record holder was the Swedish driver Goran Eliasson, who set the record at 112.62 miles per hour way back in 1990. Nobody had managed to break it in 19 years, but Kivimaki had a dream of being the record holder ever since he was a kid, and he wasn't going to let anything stop him. In a diesel BMW, with his speed on two wheels being measured over a distance of 328 feet, He broke the record with an astonishing speed of 115.742 miles per hour. With speed like that, he definitely proved that even the most unbeatable records are just waiting to be broken. Largest Loop the Loop Back in 2019, British stunt driver Terry Grant broke the Guinness World Record for the biggest loop-the-loop -loop in a car, breaking his previous record in the process. He did it in a brand new sleek Jaguar F-Pace, their first crossover SUV to celebrate Jaguar's 80th birthday. The loop he drove the car around is the world's biggest vertical loop at a dizzying 63 feet high. And even more amazing than that, the G-force he endured while going around was a whole 6.5 Gs. Which which is even more than space shuttle pilots face on launch. It's a spectacular display. Have a look. Now that's what I call a loop the loop. Titus Parallel Parking. The skill of parallel parking isn't easy to master, even for the most experienced drivers. But it also has its world records, and one of the most amazing ones to date took place back in 2014 by Chinese driver Hun Yu, who beat the record for tightest parallel parking, a record which experts had thought was unbeatable. At the China Drift Championship, he managed the truly incredible feat of perfectly parallel parking in a space just 3.5 inches bigger than the mini three-door hatch he was driving. Although not performed at breakneck speed, it makes for white knuckle viewing. Have a look. Fastest Drift this video was made possible not only by the bravery of the driver, but also by the impressive craftsmanship behind the car itself. Back in 2016, the daredevil Japanese driver Masato Kawabata managed to break Guinness World Record for fastest vehicle drift an unbelievable three times on one airstrip in the United Arab Emirates on the same day. His weapon of choice was a Nissan GTR Nismo, which had been specially tuned for maximum stability and agility to pull off the staggering stunt. The angle of the drift was taken into account for the three record breaks, and his speeds were astounding. At 55.21 degrees, he achieved 169.8 miles per hour. He reached 184.4 miles per hour at an angle of 34.42 degrees, but his fastest speed was at an angulation of 33.56 degrees with a breakneck speed of 189.49 miles per hour. Each one of his speeds absolutely smashed the previous record. Range Rover Upstairs it's one thing to beat a world record, it's another to become the first to do something. But in 2018, Range Rover's racing driver did just that by becoming the first person to ever complete the Dragon Challenge. It was an incredible challenge, starting with just getting to the location of the climb. The Dragon Challenge takes place on the steps leading up to China's Heaven's Gate. But to get there, they needed to navigate one of the world's most dangerous roads. The winding Tiananmen Mountain Road consists of 99 hairpin turns, and even one wrong move could have been deadly. The actual Dragon Challenge involved the specially built test model Range Rover, switched into its mud and ruts mode, 
climbing the 999 steps up to Heaven's Gate. The whole stunt, which experts weren't sure was actually possible, was completed in just 22 minutes and 41 seconds, so you probably won't see this record broken anytime soon. BMW Longest Drift Some records are so difficult to break that people go to insane lengths to achieve them. And this BMW Longest Drift record is one of those. In 2018, BMW decided to reclaim their Longest Drift title with their new M5 model, but they weren't just content to break the record. They clearly wanted to set a new record that would be almost impossible to beat. To do that, they modified the car, allowing it to be refueled mid-drift. They weren't going to let anyone take this title away from them anytime soon. The stunt required a second M5 carrying fuel to drift along alongside the record-setting car so someone could hang out the window and refuel the car being driven by Johann Schwartz mid-drift. It's a truly astonishing feat, and it allowed them to not only beat the record for longest continuous wet drift, but almost double it. With an incredible 232.5 mile drift undertaken in 8 hours, when BMW goes for a record, they really go all out. Car Pulling a Plane there's a history of records of cars pulling planes, and each one gets better than the last. Back in 2017, the record for heaviest aircraft pulled by a production car was broken when a 285-ton Air France Airbus A380 was towed down a runway at Charles de Gaulle Airport by a Porsche Cayenne S diesel. It made full use of its 385-horsepower V8 engine to get that incredible job done. The parallel record, heaviest tow by an electric production passenger vehicle, is of course held by Tesla. In 2018, the Tesla Model X SUV managed to pull a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Weighing 143.5 tons, 1,000 feet down a taxiway at Australia's Melbourne Airport. It doesn't sound as impressive as the Porsche, until you realize that the Tesla is typically only able to tow 2.75 tons. For both Tesla and Porsche, this was a great showcase of their exceptional engineering. Fastest Two-Wheeled Mile as if one record on this list wasn't enough, Terry Grant is back for another. A year before his Loop the Loop record, Grant took a Range Rover Sport SVR to the Goodwood Festival of Speed to beat his own record for the fastest mile in a car on two wheels. It wasn't easy. He tried and failed to achieve it four times over that weekend. It was no easy task. He used a ramp to get the car onto two wheels and then had to maintain the balance to prevent the car from tipping one way or the other. Despite that, on his fifth and final try, on a one mile stretch of the Goodwood Hill Climb, he managed an incredible time of 2 minutes and 24.5 seconds, clipping speeds of 60 miles per hour. He not only beat his previous record, but completely destroyed it at almost a full 30 seconds better. Have a look at this. He's nearly there, he's nearly there, he's nearly there. The checkered flag is at the ready for a two wheeling Terry Grant. Now that's something you don't see every day. Fastest car. If you thought you'd seen the true definition of speed, save that thought for just a moment. On November the 6th, 2019, the British supersonic car known as the Bloodhound made headlines as it achieved a breathtaking speed of 501 miles per hour in a test run ahead of its world record attempt in 2020. Andy Green, who will attempt the record, is the current land speed record holder, who will attempt to break his own record in this new car. He described a speed of 200 miles per hour as feeling like driving from snow onto ice. So we can only imagine what it must feel like to control a supersonic car powered with a jet engine at a speed of 501 miles per hour. Only seven vehicles have managed to top 600 miles per hour mark, and the current record holder is the Thrust SSC, which back in 1997 reached a seemingly impossible speed of 763 miles per hour, becoming the first land vehicle to break the speed of sound. It sounds like an unbeatable record, but you can't tell that to the man who set it in the first place. Longest Car Launch you can break records, and then you can break records in style. In 2016, Bryce Menzies took a specially modified truck to a ghost town in New Mexico to see if he could break the record for the longest car launch. The truck had been tested and tinkered with so it would be ideal for flying through the air, and the ghost town was there to give everyone a sense of scale so you know just how far this car could jump. Ramps were set up for tests, but the televised event was canceled when, during a qualifying run, Menzies suffered a serious crash, which destroyed the 
incredible flying truck and fractured his shoulder. Luckily, they had the cameras rolling, so we can still see the moment when he broke the world record for longest car launch ahead of the moment he was meant to. Not only does a car flying the length of a football field plus 20 feet look great, the 379.2 foot jump annihilated the previous record, coming in at almost 50 feet further. He even took it that little bit further by doing a celebratory wheelie at the end, like the ghost town wasn't cool enough. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too.